Yeah, hey, how's it going, YouTube? Well, I woke up this morning. We had a little bit of an issue going on. Uh, I went to go and hit the water, and it wasn't, nothing was coming out. It trickled for a second, and then it just died out to nothing. Uh, we've had, we've had issues when it gets really cold out here in this house. We live in uh, southern Missouri. I mean, it's been in the teens at night for sustained for about two weeks now. And uh, normally we get up pretty early, we go to bed pretty late, we have work schedules that are kind of crazy, so uh, the water doesn't really sit not running and stagnant for any amount of real time, maybe three or four hours, and we've been alright. But uh, last night we slept in, uh, Saturday morning woke up around nine, got out, and it was, it was done. So we ended up having about a seven hour stretch probably, give or take, where the water actually throws up. Now, we rent the house and the owners didn't have a well uh, house over the wellhead. Uh, they just had rocks, bricks, mud, and some old decrepit insulation. Well, it, it didn't freeze up and I didn't feel like building a well house this morning for a rental so what I did was I just threw some old tires that I had around and uh, put it around the wellhead, dug it all out, got rid of all the ice and the bricks, put it around, put a little heater from Walmart down the hole, I uh, left a little bit of space there so it's not directly touching it. I mean, I, I don't have gloves on, I'm not burning myself, but it is toasty warm in here. The tires are all hot. I mean, it's, it's nice in there. And uh, I threw a piece of plywood with some shingles over it. I ran it for about an hour, hour and a half, and the water slowly started to come back, and then it blew out, and we were good to go. So, long story short, uh, if you, you know, you got a wellhead that's exposed and it freezes up on you, you don't feel comfortable putting a torpedo heater or torches and all that stuff on it. And you got some old tires, throw them over the wellhead, put the heater inside of it, throw a piece of plywood over it. I mean, it, the ground was, it was frozen about an inch and a half to two inches down solid into the ground. I had to chip all this away. I mean, I mean, it was solid. I mean, this is, you know, it, it's cold. But that little heater, it kicked ass. It got it unfrozen and freed up in about an hour's time. And uh, now we can go on with our weekend and, and enjoy it and get this fixed up right later. But for temporary and you guys want to get your family going, got old tires, protect that well head. This will do it quick, easy, don't cost nothing. Good luck guys and I hope uh, I hope this helps somebody.